Hello wonderful people, welcome back to the channel, the third episode of the final uh, in the three. So I'm doing back to back three reviews today. So this house is going to be Ajmal, uh, a Middle Eastern fragrance house. I believe there is no fragrance reviews I have done on this house just yet. I got a lot of uh, requests to do a lot of Ajmal fragrance but they are not really readily available in Bangladesh. So today what I'm going to do, I'm going to review this perfume oil from House of Ajmal which was a very nice gift from one of my brother, Brother Jabir. Uh, he is a community member in Bangladesh and he's kind of my, like my neighbor. So he was kind enough to give me this little sample here as you can see. But trust me, this fragrance, this much will last you a very, very long time. So I actually, I'm not going to apply it because I already used it and I know what it smells like. So I'll describe it to you. If you have been a fan of oud and you like a little bit florals, kind of spices, check it out. This is a very, very beast mode perfume for nighttime and cold weather. So let me tell you now uh, the whole story with this. Um, the fragrance is called Ajmal Kayani. It's, it comes in 18 ml. I'll put the picture on cover photo or thumbnail you can see. And the prices on these are 76 pounds roughly. So which is not really cheap. Uh, perfume oils usually can go up to thousands of dollars because they don't contain any alcohol. You just have to apply like uh, i'll show you uh, how to apply these fragrances i have the club in intense man uh, that comes with a stick i believe the same thing with ajmal fragrance here and the fragrance has notes of uh, floral woody musk and pink pepper as well as amber these are the notes enlisted on fragrantica so the fragrance uh, i'll think like the florals they're uh, referring to in this perfume is called it's mostly rose so this is a rose wood combo and a very strong one at that you know it's a very very pungent fragrance so the fragrance uh, i mean when i sniff it i i first of all how much to apply this one i applied it one time just how much i'll show you how much i applied i took out this little stick and whatever was in the stick i just ran down on my palm like that and i thought that like i can i it's like not that much you know just little and i did a tap what it did was it developed to be something so so beast mode it literally like like if you know Mansera Black Prestigium or Mansera's, you know, like uh, Montal, some of their oud fragrance, which are loud. This one, it's even louder than those, you know. It's so animalic, so strong. It reminds me of Rasa Si Fakat Lil Rijal, but that one is much more wearable. This one right here, you need to put just one tiny drop. You just put like here, just a tiny, just do not brush it like all the way. Just take a little bit or just put here a little bit and then put one dab on your neck that's it it will be good for eight ten plus hours so the perfume is not for summer usage in my humble opinion that not many reviews on fragrantica i'll leave the link i actually have written my review there on fragrantica but this perfume i would not recommend for summer usage you can give headache to other people as well as you can develop a headache from it uh, which is not a bad thing because in cold weather this will be lovely you want something really strong piercing and projecting this is a good winter perfume nighttime if you're going out for prayers you're just going out for a walk in the evening this would be a good perfume this one has some uh, beautiful amber to it which is I, I i i think i like the amber a little bit it's not the most natural because amber is a fantasy note but what i smell it has that amber mixed with that agarud and the florals with a little bit of spices uh it gives you one dimension one side it gives you sort of like a fresh vibe you know it gives you that this amber you know like amber wood by rasasi this bit of this amber in this one so i'm saying this is a perfume for both men and women but i think it's not for every occasion if you like your fragrances strong i would highly recommend this and uh, i don't know if there's a sprayable version of it but this is a good quality perfume oil uh, i think uh, if you're looking for good agarud this is a good perfume choice but the prices i'm not sure you really have to Check it out and uh, do your research if it fits your 76 pounds okay for 18 ml but i think the 18 ml will serve you for a very long time and i'll show you like perfume oils usually they give you like this okay uh, they'll give you a full bottle give you like a stick like that okay hold on yeah it will give you a stick like that and you just have to take out and then apply how much you really want to apply let's say you want to apply just go one here one there leave it you know do not do rubbing and stuff like that it's good perfume oils you can do that but uh, do not like go overboard because then you have some burning sensation your skin will warm up and then the dry down will come very fast so that's how you want to use perfume oil depending on the strength of the perfume oil 
apply it okay apply it with caution or apply it with abundance <laughs> so um, like the perfume oils can be a little bit tricky but as they do not have alcohol in them or the mostly they will sometimes do uh, project a lot sometimes they will not but they will last a very long time this one particularly right here it's called Kayani this Kayani perfume it will poof, last and project for a very very long time so 10 for longevity and projection but it could be a very very tricky fragrance so definitely sample it before buying it so that's about it that's the review thanks uh, Javir Bhai for uh, providing me with the sample and everybody have a nice day thanks for watching and I'll take a break now bye bye